Hi, this is Dr. Pingle for Geography 459. Uh, part of this assignment involves uh, retrieving data from OpenStreetMap and uh, converting that to a shapefile. So uh, the easiest way to download that data is to use the Overpass API. Uh, there are a few websites out there that do this for you. Uh, I'm using overpassturbo.eu. Uh, and we're centered right now on the island of Sicily, just off of the coast of, uh, of Italy. Um, what you can do is you can construct queries. Uh, so this is what the code looks like over here to construct a query that's going to retrieve ruins uh, within the bounding box of, the, of what we're looking at. Um, what I'm going to do uh, up here, you can type in your the location that you're interested in. So if I type in Paris, it's going to um, query and ask me uh, if this is the right one. So this has zoomed me into Paris in France. Uh, and we can run the existing query. So this is going to look for ruins in France. Uh, so we can run that query. It's going to call the overpass API. Uh, it's going to build the query and then it's going to return information for us. So these are the <coughs> locations of um, ruins within the, the bounding box of our window. Uh, you can see down at the bottom it's giving us um, some information about what we retrieved. So loaded 428 nodes, 16 ways, zero relations. Um, now, if we want to download this data, we can hit export. Uh, we're going to ask for this as a GeoJSON. Uh, it's going to prompt us to save that. We're going to hit cancel here. Um, and what we can do is we can take a look at the, the code that it gave us. Um, so you can see that we've got features in here, certain kinds of ruins um, and coordinates for those. Uh, and we can kind of move all the way through here. Um, what we can do is we can uh, select all of this. So control A to select all of that. Control C to copy it to the um, to the clipboard, and then we can go over to this uh, website called Ogre. Uh, so Ogre is helpful for converting a lot of different kinds of formats. In this case, we're looking to convert from GeoJSON to a shapefile. So I can delete uh, all of that window, and I'm going to paste Control V um, the data that I just got from uh, Overpass Turbo. Uh, it's going to ask for a, uh, a name, so I'm going to call this Ruins in Paris, uh, and we're going to convert it to a shapefile. Now you notice that <coughs> this has given us an error. If you're using Internet Explorer, it may try to get you to download a JSON file that's essentially going to be this, this same error. Um, what you wind up, what you, what you can kind of key in here uh, on is this part here. So it says, Error 1, Attempt to Write Non-Polygon Point Geometry to polygon type shapefiles. So what's going on here is we're running into this issue where GeoJSON uh, is a very flexible data container and it can hold different kinds of geometries, um, but shapefiles can't. Uh, remember these are relatively, this is a relatively old specification. The shapefile can only hold one type of geometry. And so uh, if we looked back at our results, uh, what you can see is that we had retrieved uh, nodes and ways and within the OpenStreetMap universe, ways can either be linear features like roads, but they can also be polygons. Um, so what we're getting here is points and polygons returned back for this. And maybe what we want is only the only the points. Um, if we look at the at the code here. Um, <clears throat> so what this is, uh, is it's written in, in JavaScript. Uh, and what we can do is we can uh, remove the pieces of this query uh, that's that's returning these ways to us. And we, we could do the same thing with relations. So Within JavaScript, um, we've got ways of excluding parts of the code, and we use that with with uh, little symbols that are going to tell it that it's uh, that that certain portions are comments. So this portion here uh, says begin a comment. This portion here says end a comment, and then the comment is actually going to be everything in between those two pieces. Uh, if you just want to exclude a single line, uh, it looks like two slashes. So what we're going to do is we're going to exclude ways and we're going to exclude relations so that the only thing that this is going to return back to us is going to be a, uh, a node or a point feature. So we're going to rerun our query. And what we're going to get back uh, are only, uh, only the nodes, only the points that are associated with that. Now you notice that we're only getting 10 point features back, so that's not very many. It may be that you, if you were interested in this, you would want to rerun 
this query um, to retrieve just the polygons. And if you bring uh, the, the mixed data that we had before, the points and polygons layer, you can actually convert that with other features. Um, so QGIS and ARC will, will both have ways to convert that. But uh, for the purposes of this assignment, I'm interested in, in you learning how to use Ogre. Uh, so within Ogre, um, this is a good way to just uh, limit your queries to one type of, of feature uh, or another. So now that we've done this, we can go back to export. <clears throat> We're going to export it as a GeoJSON. Um, you can save these to disk. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to go into the, the, the export window. Control A to select all. Control C to copy it to the clipboard. And then I can go into Ogre and Control V and paste uh, my new just point stuff back here. We're still going to call this ruins in Paris.zip and we're going to convert it to a shape file. And this time we get this prompting that says ruins in Paris.zip. So that lets us know that the thing has worked. Uh, we'll save that. Uh, we can show that in the folder and unzip that to ruins in Paris. And this looks like a standard shape file um, that we could then bring into Arc uh, and, uh, and take a look at. So let's do that really quick. We'll load ArcGIS. While we're waiting for that to load, notice that we've got our uh, basic pieces here. So we've got uh, a DBF file that's going to contain our attribute information, shape file that's going to contain the geometry. This is our index file and a PRJ file that's going to store the uh, projection that this has come to us in. Okay, so ARC has loaded. Uh, we're going to drag and drop that shape file in. Okay, so these are the point features that we just downloaded. Uh, we can turn on, we can actually query those uh, to get some information about those. Uh, so here we've got uh, some ruins. And of course, what we might want to do is add uh, a base map layer. So we'll add uh, National Geographic. And as long as our projection has been uh, defined properly, uh, our point layers are going to show up on here. You'll notice that the default um, <clears throat> is WGS84. One of the reasons why this looks a little bit strange, uh, if we wanted to make this look a little bit nicer, uh, we could change that to a Mercator projection uh, that's going to preserve shape locally. And now we get sort of a, a more rounded shape that, that, we would, uh, that we would expect to see around Paris with our uh, point features loaded. Uh, our crash, but uh, not an issue. Well, it's in that report. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> so there's just a quick introduction on how you can um, construct a query. You can modify a query by uh, commenting out features that you're not interested in. You can export the data. Uh, you can convert the data using Ogre, and then you can bring that data into ArcGIS. Thanks for listening.